It was exactly two years ago today, August 19, that Flat Earther Mitchell from Australia declared on YouTube that the sextant was the number one Flat Earth proof. And thus, 2021 was the year of the sextant. 2020 was the year of the black swan. 2021 is the year of the sextant. There is no more debate. The globe has been killed. The flat earth has been proven. This is the number one flat earth proof. To celebrate the anniversary of that auspicious announcement, I've decided to explore how the flat earth year of the sextant morphed into their obvious fear of the sextant. Now a fun thing about Mitchell's number one proof video is that it was essentially my gateway into the hilarious comedy of errors that is Flat Earth and their sextant narrative. I stumbled across it, and knowing from personal experience that celestial navigation is entirely globe-based, was inevitably curious how anyone with any understanding of it could ever think it would work on a flat Earth. Of course the question basically answers itself. Flat Earthers have no real understanding of how celestial navigation works, if they did, they would likely cease to be flat earthers. Thus it is no surprise that nowhere in Mitchell's number one proof video does he actually prove his claim by, well, demonstrating celestial navigation. Indeed, despite having a channel that claims to be a flat earth school, featuring images of sextants in its banner, there is not even one video demonstrating a celestial navigation fix with sextant angles being turned into latitude longitude coordinates. Mitchell goes on in another video to boldly declare, All right, This is the sextant trap. This is how caught up the Globers are in the sextant trap. And yet, Globers like me, and Bacon, and MC Toon, and Ruhif, and Tiny Captain, and Nico, and Bob, have demonstrated how celestial navigation works, even showing the underlying spherical globe-based geometry. Instead, it seems to be the flat earthers who are afraid to venture beyond arguing over definitions to actually test their claims, to actually put their money where their mouth is by doing some celestial navigation. Heck, they seem afraid to do it even when literally offered money. And it's not as if us globies haven't tried to help them. Last December, on the Flat Earth Debate Discord server, I responded to demands that I address their citations with a video doing just that, even throwing in the added Christmas present of an actual position fix demonstration, turning sextant angles to latitude longitude coordinates and showing how the underlying geometry is entirely globe based. They of course responded with a detailed analysis of that video and their own demonstration of a position fix. Nah, I'm joking. They ignored the demonstration, banned me from the server, and show host Oakley pretty much embargoed further discussion of the video. Which is kind of funny when you consider his show has pretty much devolved from any sort of interactive debate to mostly critiquing other people's videos. So he put out a video uh, to address that. Let, let me go post it for you. I'm not going to do that. No. And, no, 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 no. What are they afraid of? And this fear of actually doing any celestial navigation for real extends beyond Oakley's crew. I was recently invited, nearly begged in fact, to go discuss celestial navigation on the 24-7 Flat Earth Discord server. Having been assured their membership includes actual celestial navigators, I provided them some sextant sites ahead of time in case they wanted to prepare their own demonstration of a Flat Earth position fix. I was certainly prepared to show them how it works on a globe. And any bets if I got that chance? Of course I didn't. Instead, the conversation went off the rails with their frankly laughable claim that atmospheric refraction does not exist because Snell's law doesn't apply to gradients, despite the fact that even some of their own sources linked to explanations of how it does in fact apply to gradients. And never mind, you can easily demonstrate refraction through a gradient for yourself in your own home with minimal expense and effort. As we've repeatedly seen, flat earthers don't really believe in testing their claims, not where they can cherry pick only the sources that seem to support their preconceptions while ignoring anything that contradicts it. As I've said before, there is a name for that. So once again, afraid to stray into the dangerous territory of the actual practice of celestial navigation, they again chose to spin their tires arguing definitions and citations. And so that brings us to today two whole years since the so-called Year of the Sextant was declared, and still no Flat Earther has actually demonstrated any celestial navigation using real sextant sites, let alone showing it working flat. They've certainly talked about it a lot, 
and even agree on a few important points. Specifically, that celestial navigation actually works and has been used by mariners successfully for centuries. That it works by obtaining elevation angles to celestial bodies like the stars, and then subtracting it from 90 degrees to get something called the co-altitude angle. They agree that the co-altitude angle gives you your distance to the celestial ground position just by multiplying by 60 nautical miles per degree. And that this gives you a so-called circle of equal altitude consisting of all the positions on the surface of the Earth with the same distance from the ground position, where your sextant would provide the same altitude angle to the given star. Finally, they agree that three such circles will intersect at your latitude-longitude coordinates. Where we disagree is on what sort of surface this is all happening on. Flat earthers start with the begging the question premise that elevation angles can only happen on a flat surface, despite their own sources usually contradicting them. They cherry pick the most cartoonish diagrams to reinforce their belief in a mythical right triangle that numerous authoritative sources and the actual process make clear does not exist. And while they could easily break free from this confirmation bias and test these assumptions for themselves, they seem very reluctant, if not outright afraid, to do that. So here is my challenge to any flat earthers watching this. On this, the two-year anniversary of the year of the sextant, push past your fear of the sextant and put your beliefs to the test. Learn the process and do some celestial navigation. Test what sort of geometry it actually works on. You don't even need to get into all that messy math of sight reduction. No, the real test is to directly apply the measured angles to a scaled down representation of the Earth. Translate the co-altitude angles directly to a distance using a drafting compass and use that to draw your circles. On a flat Earth, that distance will be a straight flat line. On a globe, it'll be a curving arc length. Try it on a globe. Try it on any flat world map you care to. See where it works which one validates the underlying geometry. Really, what's stopping you?